hello guys and welcome to a new tips video this is a bit late but better late than never i know that everyone wants to know about perks and what they do but too lazy to test them out i myself was too lazy to test them but i finally got my shit together and tested them and did all the boring work for you guys so after watching this video you will know everything you need to know about perks and we will be answering the big question here do perks work in battle royale or are they limited to multiplayer mode the answer is surprising and you will see why in this video enough wasting time let's get into it I'm gonna start this video by answering the main question do perks actually work in battle royale and the answer to that is yes and no what i mean by that there are around 19 perks in the gunsmith and only six perks work the rest works in multiplayer mode only and doesn't work in battle royale i'm gonna start with the perks that work and we'll see what they do and if they are worth using or not We'll start with the FMJ perk. Most of you are familiar with the function of this perk because there has been an attachment in multiplayer mode with the same name and the same function since the start of the game. This perk has penetration and if you equip it to your gun, it will deal more damage to enemies behind cover. You can equip this perk to all guns except shotguns. First of all, we'll try to hit the enemy with an AK-47 that doesn't have FMJ perk equipped. And as you can see, it deals a total of 10 damage for every bullet. Now I'll switch to the second AK-47 that has the FMJ perk equipped. Notice that it deals 15 damage in the first hit and 14 damage in the second hit. So basically in every 10 bullets you shoot, you will get at least an extra 40 damage. Next we have the sleight of hand and the function of this perk is to increase the reload speed of your gun and it also increases your mobility. Sleight of hand can be equipped to every single gun in battle royale. In this example an AK-47 with sleight of hand reloads in 1.80 seconds and an AK-47 with sleight of hand equipped reloads in 1.53 seconds. It might not be a big difference but it's there. After that we have the long shot perk which basically increases the range of your weapon and allows it to deal more damage at longer range. This perk is limited to assault rifles only. In this example you will notice that an AK-47 without long range perk deals 21 damage. On the other hand an AK-47 with long perk deals 24 damage. So that's 3 damage difference and for every 10 bullets you will get an extra 30 damage. Of course it changes depending on the distance to your enemy. Next we have the wild hipfire perk and the function of this perk is to increase the hipfire accuracy whenever you jump or slide. The wild hipfire perk is limited to SMGs only and cannot be used on other guns. So in this example we have a cordite with wild hipfire equipped on the left and on the right we have a cordite without wild hipfire perk. And you can clearly see that the perk actually activates which is indicated by this icon that pops up whenever I jump. However I don't really see much difference between the two guns, it's like it doesn't have any effect. Now we have the bullet return perk. This perk will return bullets to your gun after you kill an enemy. But keep in mind that it's based on chance. Sometimes you get extra ammo and sometimes you don't. The bullet return perk is limited to sniper rifles only. In this example you will notice that I got one extra bullet right after I killed this enemy. Finally we have the melee master perk and the function of this perk is to return 3 bullets to your mag after you kill an enemy but only at close range and if I had to guess the distance it's no more than 3 meters but I'm not 100% sure. The melee master perk is limited to assault rifles only. This is a quick example to show you how this perk works. As I have this perk equipped to my AK-47, notice that I got 3 extra bullets to my mag right after I killed this enemy. That was all of the 6 perks that works in battle royale. 
Any perk that I didn't mention won't work, so avoid equipping any of these to your guns unless you're playing multiplayer. You can tell that some of these perks won't work in Battle Royale just by reading their description. Like Tough Perk for example, where you get a speed up after you respawn, but we all know that there is no respawn in Battle Royale. Yes, there is revive, but even when you get off the revive plane, you land without any weapons, so you won't have the perk equipped and you cannot activate it. But before I end this video, we will test one of the perks that doesn't work just to show you that I actually tested all of them and I don't think I made any mistakes but in case I did or in case I'm missing something then let me know down in the comments. I'll go with the empty reload perk. This perk is limited to LMGs and it's supposed to reduce the reload time when your ammo is low. In this example we have an RPD with empty reload on the left and RPD without empty reload on the right. And as you can see, the reload time is the same. After we saw all the results of the test, I'm gonna answer the second question of this video. Is it worth to equip perks or is it better to equip an attachment instead? Honestly, I don't think it's worth it. Sleight of hand has a very small effect that you won't even notice. Wild hipfire is pretty much useless. As for the FMJ and long shot perks, they may have a decent effect but still I don't think it's good enough to replace an attachment. Same thing with the melee master and bullet return. Is it really worth it to recover 3 bullets only for an assault rifle with 30 to 50 bullets mag capacity? Or is it worth it to recover 1 bullet for a sniper rifle? I don't think so. I'd always go with an attachment instead as it gives more value. In the end, it's up to you. You saw all the results and you can decide if you want to equip any perks or not depending on your style of play and what weapons you use. So another question arises here, why did Activision add these perks if they are useless? It's so confusing especially for new players. This, this is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. I hope you guys find this useful. I know I did. It really surprised me especially that I was actually using disabled perk and wild hipfire at the start of the season and I just found out they don't work which is pretty sad. Kindly consider leaving a like and if you're new then subscribe as I post a lot of tips and gameplay videos. Love you all, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Peace.